Yeah, exactly right. That's 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 the disappointing thing. We fought and fought and fought for three days and got ourselves in a really really good position, and in two hours we we proceeded to throw it away. It was um, it it was it was poor batting, and it's something that I'm going to go and sit and talk about with the players now. It's it, it it's it's something we've got to do when we lead the game from the front. We've got to be able to put our foot on the on the neck of the opposition, and we didn't do that, and that's. And that's pretty disappointing. But this isn't the first time it's happened. So it's something that I need to look into with the team. And uh, we need to talk about it and we need to we need to plot a way forward because we gave up three incredible days' work. Um, we let slip in, in, in one disastrous session, much like in the first test match where we, we let slip in the first innings again, you know. And we can't afford as a team to have those poor sessions. We've got to get our good and our bad closer together. We can't. We, we can't have. We, we can't have a session like that because then you never recover. And it was extremely disappointing because for three days we competed and we were neck and neck in the game. And the game was there for us to take, and we didn't take it. So uh, extremely disappointed with that. Yeah. Look, and, and, and that's a very good question. But I'm not going to make any excuses today. Um, you know, yes, yes, we've come from. Uh, we haven't had the greatest build-up, um, LPL into uh, into South Africa, South Africa straight back into Sri Lanka. But hey, we're playing Test cricket again, and that's and that's great. Um, so I'm not going to use that as an excuse because for three days we were we were very good. For three days we held our own. We've got a we've got a board in the dressing room where, where we plot each session. And for three days, at worst, we had halved sessions. You know, we had we hadn't lost a session, and we had and and, and we had everything going for us. We were leading the game going into our second innings, and, and and we let it slip. Now, again, as I said to the earlier question, that's something that I need to put my finger on because that that today just wasn't good enough. We've got to learn to be ruthless. We've got to learn to when the situations present itself and we're in front of the game. We've got to learn to take those opportunities and put our opposition under more pressure. And we buckled first again today, which is extremely disappointing. <laughs> Andrew, to be brutally honest, I'm going to go and find out, find that out right now because that was nowhere near our game plan. Our game plan this morning was to absorb pressure, was to grind away, was to try and bat a couple of sessions to make sure that we got ourselves into a very very good position to push for the win uh, tomorrow. That that was our strategy. We had a long chat about it this morning. We used the blueprint of our second innings in uh, in the first test match as something that we wanted to base our innings on. So somewhere it's gone horribly wrong, and that's something that I'm going to dig up and find tonight. We we, we certainly. Um, We've sat with our selection panel. We've been very proactive. We've discussed where we want to take the team. Um, we're going to need another discussion in the next week or so. The boys are going to do fitness tests on the third. Uh, we've got a no. We've got a, a, a non-negotiable policy around fitness. Um, you know, I, 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 at times I just think it's just been too easy. It's just been too nice. Um, you know, in the past and. We, we, we get, we're going to have to honestly just get our, uh, uh, you know, we want to be world class. I want these boys to be world class. You know, we we winners. We, we, we don't accept mediocrity. We don't accept losing. So that's something we'll sit with the selectors. We'll have a look at and and, and, and we'll just, there is going to be crossover slightly, certainly, certainly with, our, with our two white ball teams. And then we've got a couple of players that will play all three formats. But um, look, that, that, that's that, that's something we, we're going to look into because I certainly want to want to build a team. I, I, I want to build a team that's going to compete in all three formats. That's going to compete in all World Cups and a team that's going to compete in the next World Test Championship. That's my goal. That's why I'm here. As I say, I'm a winner. I want us to win, and mediocrity won't be accepted. So that's something that we'll discuss uh, going forward. Oh, look, look, Chris. Uh, you know, I, th I thought England have been really, really good. Um, I, I've watched them go about their business. They've been very, very professional, as you know. England would always be. 
Um, I think they've got some players that are that are in some good form. You know, their their bowling attack is wonderful. Their seam bowling attack is great. We saw good signs for England with Bess and Leach. Um, and and Joe Root has batted at a, at another level on this tour. He's um, Joe Root has been in some ways the the, the difference. You know, he, he's he's certainly been the beacon that. That, that that I've always tried to try to use an example to our batsmen, and I look, I, I think he's been he's been quite outstanding. So I think England can go there with every chance of of winning that Test series. I think it'll be a good one. Look, I, 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 was, I, I was I'm very very excited for Lasith Um He's a wonderful boy. He works so hard at his game. For him to get those rewards in only his um, I think it's his ninth or tenth Test matches. Uh, is unbelievable. I always tell him he's got the gift of the fingers. He's got the gift of the fingers. He's able to spin the ball, and um, I think he's got a wonderful future. He really is. Uh, he really is a very, very impressive young man and a very, very impressive spin bowler. And I, I'm so excited to be working with him for the uh, in the future because I think I think he's going to be very special. That's a really good question, so and, and 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 you know, there's been so many little positives along the way you know we, we've been in a bubble for for a hell of a long period now um and and it's been tough and i've seen players grow we i've I, you know i've been i've been working with sri lanka for a year now but I, this is only my third or a uh, third test series you know uh, properly working with the team so i'm still getting to find out about the guys and i think i think the pluses were certainly that first innings at centurion i thought we were outstanding um, our, our batting was excellent. Just so disappointed we got all the injuries. Um, uh, we had a, we had a hundred at the Wanderers with, with Dimuth. Um, I thought Angelo Matthews in this series has been has been outstanding. Lasith Embel Denya has been outstanding. I know we've worked really hard with our pace attack. I think we've got a very very good pace attack. We've got we've got six very very good pace bowlers. We've got uh, we, we've got some, some very good spinners. We've got some finger spinners. We've got some wrist spinners. And it's just going to be, for me, it's just going to be getting our batters in the right space to, to score enough runs because I do think we've got, we've got the bowling attack. And, and the batting for me now is, 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 is about us just going back and, and assessing game plans. I was asked the question earlier today, why do I think that we played with that, with that intent? I, I think... I think we obviously didn't trust our defence enough on a wicket like that, so we thought we had to attack to survive. Which, um, which, which, when I sit with the with the guys tonight, I'm going to ask the question: Why they don't trust their defence? Because I think their defence is good enough. I really do. So it's it's just a, a little bit about belief. We've had good performances along uh, along the way. We've, you know, we, we we competed here beautifully for three days. Um, but I want us to play from the front. Um, we need to start playing from the front. We need to be able to, when the moments present themselves, to put to 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 really put our opposition under pressure. And every time we get to that position, the opposition kind of wins the next session. Um, and that's something that we that we're going to work on. So there has been there has been a number of positives individually. But now it's time for us collectively to have some positives because we need to we need to win cricket games. Look, I, I thought I thought they were steady. I, I, I thought I th we played with India, and I, I enjoyed your article yesterday. Uh, we played the sexy spinner in, uh, in in South Africa, but that was more a tactical move because we wanted to play the spinning all rounder. We played four seamers there, so 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 that's why we played with India. Um, Embaldenia is certainly our, our our finger spinner of the future, and the other spin bowlers have been steady. You know that, that's that, that's an area we're gonna we're gonna have to have to look at. Uh, what when Indu Hasaranga is, he's gonna be fantastic in all forms. I think going forward, he's still learning the ropes in Test cricket. Embaldenia will only get better and better as we as we progress from here. We saw Ramesh Mendes. He you know when he gets the ball in the right area, he gives it a Good rip, but he needs to get the ball in the right area more often. Yeah, you know, we got Sandy Can in the wings, and I think Dilran Pereira has been steady. So, uh, so we, we we do we we do have a have a cupboard there. How we move forward with that cupboard, um, only time will tell, though.
and that's something that we'll 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 have a look at. You know, I'm I'm certainly not saying that at all. But that's something that we'll have a look at because when I watch us train and when I watch us practice, um, the, the the guys are all highly skilled. You know, so so batting is very much about your defence. Test batting is about your defence. You've got to trust your defence first and foremost, and your attacking shots come from come from your defence. When we play at a frantic pace like we played today, the only thing it tells me is that we don't didn't trust our defence enough on a wicket on a wicket like that. So um, those are some things that I'm going to delve into. I'm going to start start talking to players about it and 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 formulating game plans around it. You know, we saw Angelo in the in the, certainly in the in the first innings here and in the second innings. Um, uh, a, a, the second innings of the first test, along with along with Tiramani and 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 Kusal Janath for a period of time, really really trust their defence. And when they get in and trust your defence, that was one of our that was one of our key mantras going in going in today was was our batsmen trust, uh, trusting their defence because everything sprouts from that. So. Uh, yeah, if you say it's a mental, that's something we're gonna we're gonna have to have a look at because I watch the guys train and they and they certainly good enough. We obviously we we would love to we'd love to play as many Test matches as we could because it's certainly for us so important to keep playing Test cricket because that's how we're gonna improve. Um, so yeah, we 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 certainly would. I think we've got a very full schedule this year. We've got another two test matches in the Caribbean, and as far as I know, we've got a, a couple of test matches after that as well. So, so yeah, you know, we I'll, I personally think a, a, a test series should be three three tests, but um, you know, it's just what time allows and and how you can fit it in. So, so, so you know, that's uh, we kind of dictated by that, I guess. No, I think we're going to win every game we play. No, as I, as I say to you, I don't. I think we're going to win every game. We train, we prepare to win every game we play. I certainly didn't think we were going to go down two 0 I'm, I'm just like the players. I'm, I'm always extremely disappointed whenever we lose. But you know, from from failure, good things come. We have to, we have to go and pick the players up again. We have to find out why it happened. We need to, and uh, we need to, we need to move forward because, um, you know, we, we, we can't wallow in why we failed. We've got to pick ourselves up and we've got to be ready for the challenge that West Indies come. As I say, I want us to win every game of cricket we play um, because I hate losing. For premium content and exclusive member benefits, subscribe to thepopperet.com today.